This week's Ask Richard comes from our dear friend, Anna Rea, and she asked, how can I help children with anxiety in the moment? This is a powerful question, and the more we can share tools and tips to help this, the better. Now, my wonderful mother-in-law has put me in touch with someone called Sissy Goff, and she's Director of Child and Adolescent Counseling at Daystar Counseling Ministries in Nashville, Tennessee, United States of America. The problem with anxiety is that we get stuck in our thoughts and our stories and the, the inner voice that's going on, and so these techniques are a way of coming out of our mind and into our body. And there are two things I want to show with you today which I find are really potent and can help a young child kind of begin to learn and navigate themselves and to help them come out of their, their anxious state. The first one is about breathing. Now an anxious state is a physiological response to a perceived threat. That could be performance threat, they're about to go and perform on, on the field or on some creative arts and there's a fear behind, well what if I mess up? It could be behind a test, it could be anxiety to do with friends or social networks. And the list goes on, it's going to be specific to you, isn't it? But this first exercise is going to bring back to breathing and breathing is one of the foundational ways of how we can take control of our state in the moment. And so the first one is box breathing. Now maybe you've heard that, you probably have heard, it's a very common technique. But how do you teach that to kids who maybe haven't got the concept of breathing or have got short attention spans or can't understand the process of control? Maybe this is the first time. And so what I was shared, what was shared to me was the idea of box breathing. So a box breathing is breath in, say any amount of time, but it's an even breath. So four seconds in, four count hold, four count out, four count hold out. That's the general premise of a box breath. But with a child, begin to add some form of touch, some kind of feedback, physical feedback to their body. And so it could be on their chest, it could be on their leg, but they're drawing the box with their finger. And so the person guiding, if you're guiding, you're the guardian and you're guiding, you can count. Okay, so let's breathe in, one, four, hold your breath, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. And as they're doing it, they're going up their body, they're going across their body, they're going down their body, and they're going back across their body. That touch is really important cue and helps them engage. I've tried this with my three-year-old and it works. You know, a three-year-old has got attention span, there's so much going on, and it works, it works for her. And so that's the first tip and technique that I'm gonna offer you today and give that a go. I would say give that to go to anyone who's struggling in an anxious state because it gives them something to focus onto, to hold onto, something visceral. The second tip I'm gonna introduce you today is again from the same source, Sissy Goff. And this is the 54321 rule. It's about connecting into our senses. And I'm gonna give you an example of this. And so the first one would be, okay, five breaths. You're gonna take five breaths in, one. Control out. Two. So that's your five, five breaths. The four is what sounds, what four sounds can you hear right now? For me in this garden, I hear crickets, I hear cars, I hear ponds, and I hear a plane. The third, number three, is taste. Okay, what three things in your kitchen can you taste now? What three things that you wanna taste? What can you taste in your mouth now? I can taste my toothpaste, I can taste water that I've just had and I can taste the coffee that I had after making this video. Second thing is two things you can feel. So what, what's in front of you? Okay, I can feel the texture of this table and I can feel the texture of my skin. And the one is smell. What can you smell? What can you smell? So there are two tips. That's the box breathing with the visceral, the actual touch and that's the five, four, three, two, one rule. As I said, that's from, direct from Sissy Goff, Director of Child and Adolescent Counseling at Daystar Counseling Ministries in Nashville, Tennessee. So I hope that helps. Thank you for the question, Anna, and to you all for watching this video. If you have a question for me, please just comment below and ask away. I'd love to ask you, answer your questions as best I can. Thank you for watching again and see you on another video.